I currently work in the chemical transfer facility, which is also known as the CTF here at ECBC. Uh, we have several different missions at the CTF. We receive unknown samples from around the world, which could be different military bases, um, really anywhere across the United States and around the world. We analyze the unknown samples to determine what is in that sample. Is it chemical warfare material? Is it biological? We have a BSL-2 level glove box in our facility as well as several chemical fume hoods where we can handle these munitions or liquid samples, maybe solids. We split the sample into a chemical, biological, and a untouched sample so that chemists can do their screening, bio biologists can do their screening, and then we hold a sample for um, some time in case we need to go back and analyze more of that material. My path to becoming an Army scientist was really just kind of one that I fell into by, by accident. I didn't know that I wanted to work for the Army when I was in school. I knew that I wanted to work in a lab as a chemist, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to pursue the pharmaceutical industry or a, any kind of laboratory industry, not necessarily the Army. Uh, September 11th happened to occur, and Battelle Memorial Institute was hiring a large amount of chemists at the time, and I happened to apply for the job and got a job as a contractor for a year, supporting ECBC contracts. I never would have thought that I'd be working with chemical warfare materials. Uh, this is a world that I didn't even know existed until I got the job at ECBC. It's an extremely important job. Um, doing, working with NEAT agents is something that I certainly never thought I would be doing. Uh, we distill and synthesize chemical agents on a daily basis so that we have standards to provide our contracting labs around the world that are screening for these different analytes. Uh, this is extremely unique to ECBC and to the chemical transfer facility the building that I currently work in. Had I thought about it in college I never would have thought I'd be doing this this work today. Um, it's extremely re rewarding and I've learned so much in my 10 years here at ECBC. Um, a book couldn't teach you the things that I've learned on site here. The advice I'd have for a person pursuing a career in uh, science and technology would be to start Coming up with your goals now, if you're a high school student, get involved in the STEM programs that are out there. If you're a college student, start doing your research on the different communities that are out there doing these interesting uh, laboratory works. Um, come up with your goals and come up with the path to achieving them. Find a mentor in a group that you'd like to work with. Start contacting people to get your name out and come get on site and see what the ECBC has to offer.